which went underwater uh, were being told they are winning by 56.2 percent now you remember that yeah and info track info track was at the top <laughs> <laughs> also so you could also, you could you could there are also research firms that <laughs> say these guys are neck to neck they're, they're also there I, I, you have a point you, you have a point <laughs> <laughs> you see you see simba <laughs> so it could be please save save my burning situation yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, at least uh, they can campaign for me yeah uh, yeah. against this impeachment that is looming. Now, and, and, and you see, if there is a desperate situation for the Meru governor, yes. it is this impeachment season. It's a desperate situation. You want to do anything and everything available to make sure you defend your seat. Because we are talking about a constitutional question, constitutionality of the governorship, Nazem. having been questioned by the members of the county assembly. Nazem. You know, the constitution is immutable until and unless the amendment's done it stands it is the skeleton law from which other pieces of legislations originate yes, yes. <clears throat> it is the guiding principle for a country's law we cannot uh, um, come up with an act of parliament that is unconstitutional that is why whenever an act of parliament has been uh, enacted, it has to be passed through the measures, the beam balance of constitutionality. Okay. If it is found to be unconstitutional, even if the dictates of the act or parliament are actually the ones that are speaking to the current situation of the society. Yes. For as long as there is that retrogra retrogressive statement or law within the constitution, this good act of parliament will remain unconstitutional. So we are talking about the constitu constitutionality of the governor of Merio County, of her office. It, is, it, is, it has been put into question. So if we want to find the most desperate situation, most desperate period in the lifetime of Meru governor, Kawira Mwangaza, then it is now that her case is within the city. So she, she wants to go the miles to make sure that she portrays herself, to make sure that she woos and wins the hearts of the senators who are going to make decisions uh, concerning her case favorably. And so that is why I'm saying, this is Kenya. You don't see hey, come on, come on. Even when you <laughs> even when you respond to that, because I just yeah. want us to 